You want to go to college but short on budget? Most students do not know that a government agency in the Philippines offers 7,000 monthly allowance, plus clothing allowance, book allowance, and other types of allowances. Wow. If you want to know more about this scholarship, please continue watching this video until the end. I'm Teacher Jane of Beach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. If this is your first time watching our videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll get notified on our next videos. As I was saying in the beginning of our video, I will be talking about the DOST scholarship, its privileges, qualifications, and requirements for application. So let's start! DOST or Department of Science and Technology offers scholarships for incoming first-year college students. The RA 7687 or the s and Scholarship Act of 1994 which provides for scholarships to talented and deserving students whose family socioeconomic status do not exceed the set cut-off values of certain indicators. And also the Merit Scholarship Program which is awarded to students with high aptitude in science and mathematics but exceeds the set cut of values of certain indicators. What will you get when you become a DOST scholar? First, DOST will shoulder your tuition and other school fees with a maximum of 40,000 pesos per year. You will also get a book allowance which is 10,000 pesos per year. They will also give you a premium group health and accident insurance and a one economy class round trip fare for those studying outside of their home province. On top of that, DOST will give you a monthly living allowance of a maximum of 7,000 pesos per month and when you write your thesis, they will give you a thesis allowance of 10,000 pesos. And finally, when you graduate, your course, they will give you a graduation clothing allowance, which is applied for these scholarships. What are the qualifications to become a DOSD scholar? First, you need to be a natural-born Filipino citizen. For those applying under RA 7687, you should be a poor, talented, and deserving student who belongs to a family whose socioeconomic status does not exceed the set values of certain indicators. All STEM graduates can apply for the DOSD scholarship. For non-STEM strand graduates, you need to belong to the top 5% of your graduating class. You also need to be a resident of the municipality as attested by the barangay. You should also be of good moral character and in good health and must not have any post-secondary or undergraduate units. Taker should have not taken any previous DOST examination. And lastly, the most important qualification of them all is that you are a passer of a scholarship examination. If you think you're qualified and you've got a fighting chance for this scholarship, here are the requirements that you need to prepare. First, you need a one-by-one -one ID picture. Then, you need a photocopy of your birth certificate. Then, you also need the income tax return of your parents or a certificate of indigency that you can get from the barangay. Aside from those requirements, you also need to accomplish seven forms. If you want a copy of these forms, you can access them in the official site of USD which is sei.dost.gov.ph or you can comment your email address down below in the comment section down there so that we can send you a copy of this form. That's 
all of the information that you need to know about the DLSC scholarship. If you want to know about the examination coverage, access review materials, and learn tips from actual DOST scholars, you may watch our next video. Again, this is Teacher Jane of Teach Talk, where learning is fun and easy. Bye!